In the second phase, um, when Lee started making works um, that he'd made in London, so the participatory works and the total environment shows, which had less recognisably Chinese elements in it, um, critics would then completely... Um, that there was a complete absence of any reference to his Chineseness at all. And I think that is a way of um, appropriating him into Western art trends. So as in the case of the multiples, suddenly he became this avant-garde modern artist. But there was no understanding that this could have been as a result of his experiences. He exhibited in the Listen Gallery in 1969 and it's a series of circular magnetic discs, I don't know if you've seen them before, with these movable points yeah. on that the spectator can move around. Um, and because of this uh, work, the press lauded him as one of the first artists to make multiples in Britain.他拍摄这些摄影作品他把它剪成圆形他身为一个艺术家那我们自己也可以就是在这个椅子上面自己着色，从这个椅子上找到自己的美感。李元嘉以他的名字的缩写LYC来制成一个logo，那这个logo呢，就是他把它分成三等份。三等份它包括有life、time、and first lived at Boothby. My stepsister's husband was a printer. And so he got cross and he said, look Lee, this printing press is a beautiful um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, example of a perfect printer. It will print you absolutely, exa exactly, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of images completely the same and Lee turned around and said but I want each one to be different <laughs> The wonderful thing uh, about LYC was, and Lee, was the fact that 
you could put anything in your exhibition. Mm -hmm. He wasn't worried about whether it would sell mm -hmm. or not like a commercial gallery. He said, this is your space and mm -hmm. you could put whatever you liked on me. There, there are these series of works which combine photography with with sculpture. We're still working on these, these, these works, which are reliefs, and um, there, there is an element of participation because they're on swivels. You, you, can, you, can, put, you can change them, you can change them, and change their relationship there's the, where the, the script will revolve. And there's usually a phonograph at the centre. And yet they, they have the form of what is kind of like a tablet. had, as you said, this kind of performances that he photographed himself. Um, all those photographs of him with his head covered and uh, things around him, chairs and a stone, umbrella, all, the, he took all those pictures himself, so it was a solitary, a very solitary thing, very personal. But he would set these things up in the garden and then by remote control he would photograph this kind of tableau. On the other hand, this kind of disillusionment with, 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 with human society. And I can remember him popping out from one of his doorways and sort of taking photographs of people. And that was Lee. He was always at the edge of things. He was never in the centre of things. He was sort of there observing what was happening, usually. 